Good morning. All right. So those that are watching me live will have to watch a video uh, commercial because I remembered to put a commercial on my videos. I remember to monetize. So I'm going to watch because I got my um, my video over here. So I'm going to see how long it takes. Moderation activity is now hidden. This includes messages that are held for review. Oh. Okay. It popped up. So I didn't have a I didn't have a commercial. Maybe it didn't work. I know you guys hate when you pop on my my lives here and um, and you have to sit here and wait for me to get the stuff done that I should have already gotten done. I agree, I should have. I will say though that I remembered and I emptied my garbage <laughs> before I went live. And okay, it does say it's on. Okay, all right. All right, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Uh, what I didn't do though was put this tape on this. I went and grabbed some boxes so I didn't have to get up and run to go get boxes. And I was like, oh, there's my tape gun that I didn't have on Monday. Hey, good morning, Jeanette. How are you doing? You need to come back to Kentucky in um, September, September 30th, so you can go to the reseller rally so we can meet each other. I don't know when I'm going to make it to California next. Let's see. So this is, this is weird how you have to. Like my other one, this part, I wonder if this swings up. No, I don't think I've ever loaded this one. Oh, it goes down underneath here. I was thinking it went in that. Well, how? What does it take to learn how to load a tape gun? Okay, so it goes like the, down underneath the wheel and up through. I was thinking that it went through right here, which really kind of seems like it would make more sense, but I guess not because you want it to roll when you're doing a box. So, so it just dangles. So, what would I rip it right here? I'll rip it right there. Okay. All right. I got that going. I'll put that over here. Those are for my non-eBay because I got some eBay tape now. Uh, leaving on Sunday for home. Uh, it's always nice to get home, isn't it? But it's always sad when you have to say goodbye to family and friends that you're visiting. That's never a good a good feeling. Um, we can start with, let's start with, what do I have here? I don't know. Mercari because that's on the top, I think. I have never mastered tape guns. I know this one, this one I like a lot. It's like so easy. I like to hand, I like the size of it to hold it and, and rip it. Um, it is broken. There's a piece of red that's supposed to be right there. That's supposed to hook up to this piece. It still works with it broken. I, I was looking at, oh, at Ollie, I was at Ollie's the other day and they had some tape guns. I almost bought one. I was like, listen, you don't need a new tape gun. You got one. You just got to go find what you do with it. But I remembered that was on Tuesday. So I put a travel time chit chat video up for those who haven't watched that yet. Uh, I was hoping to get it up yesterday, but so I, I recorded it on Tuesday and I did it through Filmora on Tuesday evening. And I went to export it from Filmora and I had an error message pretty much telling me that, hey, you don't own Filmora 12 that I needed to buy a new copy of it. So I'm like, well, no, I have Filmora 9. So I went to somehow it automatically updated. So I tried to edit that, which I think I talked about in my video. Oh, the video, I think it was maybe the video yesterday. I did another travel time yesterday. Uh, and it was, I couldn't download Filmora 9 for somehow it updated it to 12. So I sent a help ticket and I heard from them overnight saying that they did away with 9 and I got a free version of 12. I went and grabbed a soda too, because my throat's a little ticky, tricky, tickly. Um, not, I guess it's not soda, right? Clear America. It tastes like soda because it's sparkling. It's sparkling water. And um, so I ended up yesterday re-downloading Filmora 12, and I guess it must have logged me out, and that's why it was telling me I had to rebuy it. And so I logged it back in, which I was logged in at one point that day. So I logged back in, and it worked. So I exported it, but it was taking all day. So I, I think I started exporting at seven in the morning 
and it was only at 6% at like three in the afternoon. So I stopped it, closed down my computer, restarted my computer because everything was running so slow on it. Really need a new computer. And um, restarted exporting and exported in its normal slow manner. Not as slow as that, but still slow. Hey, good morning, Laura. So, yes, I got the video up. I really wanted to put it up last night, but uh, it was still doing... Uh, then YouTube has to do their thing and it was still doing that thing. So it didn't get a chance. I think it was around 930 when it was finally done and I didn't want to run it at 930. Uh, all right. View order. So this is my only Macari sale. I sold a fingerling. I noticed that a lot of the like lower price things sell on Macari. Like right now I'm waiting, rating from a buyer on a $10 item. I need to rate a buyer on a $24 item. So it releases my funds. Which is so weird that you have to rate a buyer on Macari after they rate you, but before you can see what they rated you. So how can I say, because one of the options is that the buyer was friendly. Why well, don't really normally talk to the, my, my buyers unless they ask questions before they buy. So I just say quick rater if they rated quickly or I don't say anything or you know don't click any of their options and I'll just say thanks for shopping with me. Because how can I say great buyer when i don't know if they just left me a one-star review if they left me a one-star review on a brand new item they just got that's in great condition and they're trying to scam macari and realizing they can't because it's very i think it's hard to scam on macari um then i don't really want to say great buyer if if they're not a great buyer so i hate that you don't see that review until after but i gotta do that later so let's see what this one i think it's probably first class I heard that that reseller rally was sold out. I haven't clicked the link to see if you can buy tickets or not, but I was watching the Trash to Cash podcast and they were saying that it was sold out. Um, I don't even know. Oh, first class, one pound. I put it as one pound. You know what I was hoping I could ship it in? And I went and grabbed some of those UPS boxes. I'm hoping I can ship it in this. I'm hoping it fits. When I say I'm hoping I can ship, I mean a fit that it fits. Not that I can or can't ship it, because I can. It's just whether or not it fits, if that makes sense. I just don't want somebody to be like, oh, you're shipping USPS in a UPS box. But these UPS boxes don't have any brand, like, they don't say UPS on them. Not like the USPS priority does. You know, somebody was making, I think it was Scott yesterday. I was watching the his show after his show because I went out to breakfast with my husband yesterday so I didn't catch the live and um, he was saying that one of the things he does because a lot of times if you're shipping through pirate ship or even through Amazon they give you really good discounted UPS rates well if you're going to be shipping priority mail versus UPS rates sometimes the difference is worth using a UPS box versus using um, your own box or paying for a box. Or right? if I was buying this box, this fits in this. One. I'm going to see if it fits in the smaller one because I never used these small ones. This is the other size. I think this might be too big. I mean, too small. Oh, you might fit actually. I was like, that's a really good point, and that's something I definitely pay attention to. Is which I think you guys hear me when I say it is I sit there and say, okay, yeah, it can ship UPS for cheaper, but I got to drive over to the UPS store, which is further. I got to go into town for that versus my post office, which is like two minutes down the road. Um, or I got to use my own box versus using a free priority mailbox. It fits in the small one. Ugh, there we go. It fits in this one. How cool. I'm excited about that because I have a lot of these small ones and I don't use this size that often. The thing with these is they're heavier duty. So a lot of times they're going to go up. They're going to bring you up maybe into another first class rate if you're using these for first class. But in this case, they paid for a one pound, which I got to weigh this and see. I don't, and it doesn't feel like it's a pound. I don't know. It's only 10 ounces. So more than okay. View and print. 
And I get to use this. Actually, I'm just going to do this. I like to tape the edges. I like to tape that. All right, so this is going to Bakersfield, California. And edit more. Take a snapshot. Highlight the label. Print. Right, Makari? It's like, get with it. Get with the times. How come you don't provide us with a 4x6 label yet? All right. Let's put a little thank you sticker. Oh, I found some stickers upstairs. I got to uh, I gotta remember to bring those down. So when we moved here, I, I cleaned out my office, my desk, and I threw so much stuff into boxes. And, you know, some things are just very low priority. And those were some that I never took the time to clean out. And I came across the bag. Actually, I took some of it ended up putting it into a bag. And I was looking through the bag yesterday. And I'm like, oh, there's some of those little, I had little teddy bears. And they said, thank you. And I'm, I had those back when I was selling on eBay probably 10 years ago. Uh, all right. So Bonanza had nothing. And Macari is all done. So I can close that. I got to remember to go and rate that buyer. And we've got orders on Etsy. Oh, uh, on that Etsy. I have two Etsy, I have three Etsy. Well, actually, I have four Etsy accounts. Two of them have sales. So I was thinking about maybe taking the, the account that I had with my mom and moving that over, which I think I'll open up that one now because I sold one of my mom's journals. And thinking about closing that and just moving it over to my. Red Barn planning. It was just easier for me to keep track of, you know, expenses and that kind of stuff, putting everything into one or into a separate one. But, you know, now that she's not here and she's not profiting from all of her uh, work that she did. Uh, so she sold this journal she made. Uh, she made some faith journals and this one's really cute. It's she put these little crosses on it little charm crosses is a gold and a silver one but so she sold this one which let me see i'm gonna grab some tissue i'll do some of this pretty oh you know what i got oh well, yeah i'll do the pretty green i got some right over there that's already been cut i'm not gonna use a whole piece so I'll cut it in half yeah, so now I got red and green, and I'm going to grab a bag to put it in. They stick to each other, a baggy. And then I'm going to grab <laughs> one of these, which this is my last one. Oh, I got something else I probably want to use this for. Well, I'm going to have to probably go grab some more of that size. <laughs> can't believe how quickly I've gone through that size. All right, so I'm going to wrap this up. So it makes it look pretty. Makes it look pretty. It's it's actually kind of sad seeing her stuff go. Like, I'm happy, but I'm sad that she's not here for me to call and say, Hey, Mom, you sold one of your journals that you made. She loved making them so much. So I went to Hobby Lobby on Tuesday. I didn't cry. I broke down last time I went, last week, I went to Hobby Lobby. It was, it was hard. I, I did have a meltdown in the aisle. Not proud of it. Not proud, but you know what? It happens. It's life, right? So I'm going to put on, well, let me put on one of these on the package. These little thank you. Well, thank you for supporting our business. And I wanted to put on or give one of these, which is home decor, but we switched home decor and junk journals. So I've been writing and junk journals. Well, I've been putting and journals. Okay. Then I want to put it in this baggie. So much I got to do. I don't want it to get damaged. Don't want it to get wet. I'm not sure where it's going. Let me see where it's going. Oh, it's going to California. So I don't want it to get wet. And then we're going to put it in a bubble mailer. Let me see. How easy can that bend? 
I don't want it to bend. I wonder if I should wrap it in just one piece of tissue just to kind of give it a little more. But you know the post office, they'll shove stuff in mailboxes. Because they're lazy, some of them. Not all of them, but some of them are lazy. And they don't want to have to go leave it on the front step. gosh i'm actually looking forward to when i sell sell not sell out but like use the rest of those supply hut bubble mailers i need to order some boxes from supply hut today but the bubble mailers i won't order them again i got this one of these little solar things whose tongue goes back and forth and it's like a tick 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 clock here. Okay, so three ounces. Three ounces. Nine, six, one. Four dollars and thirteen cents. Goodbye, Mama. Why do I feel like it's part of my mother leaving me? Ugh. I'm trying hard not to cry today. I've been saying that every day. It doesn't work. I cried yesterday. And my husband's, so my sister is working on a video for my parents were having a celebration of life for them uh, in April. And she, uh, she posted the video that she's done so far, one of them. And so I was watching it. My husband's like, why is it every time you're having a good day, that somebody sends you something that makes you cry? I said, well, I want to see, I'm going to be bawling that whole day. Uh, I will say, though, after watching the video, and I, I cried a little. I really tried to not cry. Maybe that's worse for me. I don't know. Um, but I had, uh, my heart was fluttering a lot last night. And it was the night before, too. And my husband says, well, you know, you did cry earlier. And I'm like, yeah. So that's, it's really frustrating how this grief is affecting me. Um, and I don't like that feeling the night before I couldn't sleep at all. I was up most of the night cause I just didn't like the feeling that my heart was giving me. And the doctor had asked me, or ex was it a doctor or nurse in the hospital? They had said something about, do you feel your heart fluttering? Because on the EKG, so your EKG, I think I was showing you guys the other day, it kind of goes like this and it goes, it goes up, right. And it goes back to the baseline and it goes up. Well, every now and then mine was dipping down and then it was just going up, but it wasn't often. And she says to me, because one of, they had like a medical student or whatever was working with them. And so this guy came in, young guy, and he's like, I need to do, I need to run another EKG. My heart monitor was doing this. He goes, I need to run another EKG because we're seeing uh, whatever he called it, the medical term. And I'm like, oh, okay. So, well, maybe that's why I'm feeling the way I'm feeling. This was my second trip to the to the um, ER and he said uh, or she he left the room and, and she says to, I think she was a physician assistant and she says he's young and he, you know he's he's at the learning stage and he's and so for him to come running in here and be like we need to hook you all back up and do another EKG she goes it's nothing it's not happening enough that we're worried about those are things we as you get more into the profession you ignore but he's still learning so that's why he was in here so she she says we're not worried about it at all if it's something that we saw constantly then we would have you meet with your cardiologist and he'd probably put a heart monitor on you to kind of keep track of it well, I'm noticing when I'm under stressful situations through the grief, like I've been in stressful situations before and I've never really felt this, but I've, I, it's a weird feeling. And she says, do you feel your heart fluttering? And I'm like, no, cause I don't know. I didn't know what that meant. And so I've been kind of paying attention to the feeling I'm getting. And I'm like, you know what? It is kind of a flutter. So last night I was doing some research on the good old Google and I think I ended up on um, the Mayo Clinic. I always end up going there because I trust what the Mayo Clinic is going to put out versus Eline Health or, you know, whatever, whatever, some website like that. My black cat. I saw something moving. Um, so it said that stress and anxiety can cause that feeling. So I'm like, okay, that's, I'm sure that's what it is. 
time. Let's get to Macari. So I reached out to a, um, a buyer on Macari, bought a planner from me. And then about five minutes later, I got another sale and they bought a, they bought the same planner again. So I reached out to them and this was, they ordered on the seventh, which was what Tuesday. So I think it was early Tuesday morning and Oh yeah. Cause I think I was at Hobby Lobby when I got it. And I said, did you mean to order two of these? Cause I got two orders for the same exact thing. I never heard back from them. So I am going to be mailing them two of these and hopefully it is, uh, they wanted two of them and they didn't buy them together. They paid two shippings. It's going to the same address. I really think it is probably a mistake. I do offer refunds or returns so they can return it if it was a mistake. Yeah, my numbers are like up and down in this room today. I don't know if people are getting kicked out or they're just like, hey, I came on to see what you sold and you're too slow with your packaging. So I'm out of here. But they're like up and down. All right, so I'm going to package these. I'm going to sh ship them together. Do you think if the buyer is like, hey, I didn't get, I only got one of them. I didn't get two. I can be like, hey, I got a YouTube video showing me exactly packaging these. And there's two in the package. So, Anybody else experiencing issues with YouTube today? No, well, I see myself on here. So I got you over here. So it says there's three people in here. I'm one of the three. So that's just weird. Oh, wait a minute. How come I see Holly? You commented, just got back. It hasn't popped up on my stream yard yet. Uh, just got back. The painter is here today. I, you don't realize how much you have until you move, until you have to move everything. <gasps> Isn't that true? My husband, he'd like to move to Tennessee after his parents passed. And I said, do you really look around? Do you really want to pack this all up and move it again? Like, oh my gosh. No, I don't. I don't want to. All right. So now your message just popped up. Seven. It took seven minutes for your message of at 950. It says you type that and it's 957 right now. That's a long time, StreamYard. Why the delay? Wow. I'm sorry if I'm not saying or recognizing people's comments as they say it. So Laura's still here. Hey, Laura. Appreciate you being here. Because uh, sometimes it's nice to know that I'm talking to people. Even though I know there are a few people who actually come and watch the, the, um, the, the replay. I can't speak. Okay, shipping. The thing about painters is that you don't really move the stuff out, just move it around. I know. And then you got to like find a room. Like we want, I want to get new carpeting for the bedroom. So these, I'm going to just put two panels. I want to get new carpeting in our bedroom. It's see, it's well, just our bedrooms are the three bedrooms are the only place to have carpeting. Everything else has hardwood floor. And the thought of having to move my bed out in my dresser and everything, that stuff was so heavy. Uh, we had the Amish making it. It's all made out of real wood and it is heavy, like so heavy. So part of me is like, oh, I don't even, I don't even know. So she's probably going to be like, why did I get two of these? It's probably what I'm going to hear from you, Debbie. You're going to send me a message saying, why did I get two of these? And I'm going to be like, um, because you bought two of them. Okay, let me see. I can't, my stuff, my stuff is in the way. Um, I got to mark this as ship. So I got to get, go back over here. I should have went over and did this in pirate ship. It would have been easier to be able to copy the tracking number. Let me see. Print refund. No, I want to copy you. Copy. Oh, it missed the nine. Ah, what are you doing? I don't want you to open. <laughs> I got to copy the tracking number to go and put it on the other package too. So I need to say, um, nope. How do I do this? 
I don't want to print it. I want to say I've shipped it. I don't do this often enough. No, no, that's not what I want to do. Complete order. Okay, that's where I do it. UPS tracking number, paste, track package. No, I don't want the words track package. This order doesn't have tracking. It should now. Orders are complete. Okay, there, I got that one done. I got it done. Um, I sold some more pens, which is so weird, you guys. I sold some the other day, and I told you, like, they are a super slow sale. I bought these three years ago. And um, I think this is the first set of three of the blue that I sold. But I can't remember what color I sold the other day. Maybe it was green. But I sold the blue ribbon. There's ribbon down there. Uh, pens, a set of three. So, yeah, just sold those. And I need to grab some scrap cardboard wow. you might be short are you small enough yeah they're the small ebay put that on that that way they don't get bent uh let's see let's just bubble it bubble it around the cardboard so the pens don't get broken that's the plan so i'm gonna so what does blue stand for Colon cancer, addiction recovery, ARDS, and foster care were the top ones that Blue Ribbon stands for. You know what I don't have? I'll just use this and fold it. I don't have any of the smaller ones. Well, I mean, I have them, but I have, I'd have to get up and go grab them, which I probably should. Because I got a couple other things that I could probably use the smaller one for. It's like a hair on it. I don't know if it was my hair. Could be. Could have been mine. I'm just glad I caught it. I don't want to send something with a hair stuck to it. Don't like these. Don't like these bubble millers. All right. How much do you weigh? You're not very much. Oh, two ounces. Two ounces. Where are you going to? San Antonio, Texas. I didn't have to put the, the dimensions because it doesn't make a difference when it comes to first class print. I really need to move this stuff because it's in my way. My desk is so messy. Probably not going to clean it today either because I'm going to hopefully do my taxes today. I think I got everything all set. I feel I feel good. I feel good with my taxis and getting that done. I worked on collecting more of the paperwork yesterday because it was kind of all in different places. I wasn't really good. Up until January 31st, I was good with putting everything that came in through the mail in, in the same spot so I would have it. But, of course, when my mom passed, hell went in the handbasket and it went everywhere. Okay, so I got, let's see, that's eBay. So let's grab this. I sold a bill organizer on the good old Etsy. Um, that could probably fit in one of these padded. Added. I've been putting it in a poly bag. I wonder if I should do that. No, I don't think I need to. I think I'm just going to put it in like this. It's going to Mississippi. The thing is, is there's like all that gl this glue just sticks and it doesn't even just need to stop stop using them when I'm on the live with you guys because all I do is complain about it. I think these weigh eight ounces. Eight ounces. Eight ounces. I don't even know the dimensions of those. I'm gonna put a 12 eight. I'm just gonna say they're 12 eight. Print, 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 print. Little, three times, four times, print. I had four times I have to hit print to get it to actually print. That is crazy. Crazy. Okay, there's that one. And then I got, whoops, now I gotta click that, click that. I've got the world of joy. 
So I picked up some of these Kate Spade. If you go to Home Goods, every now and then they will have this one was $9.99. They will have Kate Spade, Vera Bradley, um, you know, any of those bigger bigger names of you know recognized, well recognized names. You'll see them. They had some happy planner stuff there at Christmas time that I picked up. All right. We're not peeling off very good. Probably would have been better if I would have warmed you up. So I paid 10 for this and it's sold for $26.63. That includes shipping and taxes. So it looks like they paid $5.99 in shipping. Well, they marked it as a gift. I always find it funny when they mark something as a gift because it was purchased by Jared and I'm shipping it to Jared. So when you mark something as a gift on Etsy, it's really just in case you're going to like drop ship it to another person. So if you were going to send it to like, sometimes I'll send stuff to my daughter. Hey, Roman. Good morning. How is Ohio today? Caught you live for the first time the other night. It's so weird. I had no idea that you were. Uh, had a strong accent from another nationality, which I don't know where it is. People were saying Ukraine, but you said you're not from Ukraine. So I'm assuming it's probably Russian, but maybe it's not Russian. I don't know. My husband was guessing Russian because he was listening while I was listening. Actually, I think he was watching YouTube and I'm like, we're going to listen to this while you're listening to your YouTube. So just have to listen to both. Ohio is sunny and 30 degrees. That's not too bad. What do we got here today? 27. Not sunny. We don't have any sun till next week. Next Thursday is the first sunny day. All right. I'm sitting here fighting with um, a sticker. That's what I'm doing right now. I am from Uzbekistan, former Soviet Union country. Oh, that's what it's called, Uzbekistan. Where is that? I just don't know where things are. My geography, I hated geography. I hated history. Didn't like any of that stuff. And you know, today I probably would enjoy it if I went and took history classes. Because probably because my husband watches the History Channel all the time. Yeah, Paul is from the Ukraine. I knew he was from the Ukraine. Uh, but you, I didn't know, right? Because I hadn't watched... I hate to admit it. I hadn't watched your any of your videos. For some reason, I remember because when I went the other day and added you, or I went to add you as to, to subscribe, I was already subscribed, but I had not turned on notifications. So I hadn't even seen any of your videos. So I would say to anybody who really wants to check out a new channel, make sure you turn on notifications so you get to actually see that the person has posted a video or gone live so you can watch it and uh, and see if it's a channel you want to keep watching so but you had some big namers in there tommy bernard was hanging out with you i'm like oh there's tommy i miss his shows i never watched them live because i was always sleeping go on at what 10 p.m i think and uh, he's been he's been off for a long time. He needs to find another temporary co-host. Just have, you know, because a lot of times people will have, if somebody's out on like maternity leave or whatever, they'll have co-hosts still come on. So that's what he needs to do. Just find an alternative co-host. And then when Tracy's ready to come back, then she he can just bring Tracy back and say goodbye to the guest. All right. So case spade notebook what I sold. That's what I've been sitting here taking the sticker off on. And this is going to New Jersey. Uh, let me just make sure he didn't put a note in here because a lot of times when you mark something as a gift, they'll include a note, but it's he's sending it to himself. I see. It just says a gift for you. Enjoy. From Jared. I'm not taking, I'm not going to take the time and even print that because I'm shipping it to Jared. So Jared, you don't need to ship, put a note and ship yourself a gift. First of all, it's probably not Jared. Probably his girlfriend or wife or somebody. And they just put, just like my Amazon, everything comes to Tony's name. 
it's not in my name. This is why a lot of times I'll laugh because I'll get stuff in in the email and it's a different email than my business email. And I'll get something that says, there's a problem with your Amazon order. And I'm like, I don't even have Amazon in this. You know, hey, Tamara, there's a problem with your Amazon order. I'm like, no, there's not. Because Tamara doesn't order Amazon. I was thinking of putting the book in one of these boxes. I'm going to see how much it weighs. Just because it's a more higher class book. Ooh, 15.9. But you know what? It's going to go over it by the time I add because I have to add some put some um, stuff in here. So we'll go to one of these. And let's see. Should we just bubble? I'm going to, even though I'm putting in a bubble mailer, I'm going to bubble it again. I don't want the edges to get dunk, dung up. Because I think. If you're buying something that has like Kate Spade's name on it, you definitely want it to come in a good condition. It's not one that I picked up at the Dollar Tree. Let's just say that. Not that I really do any different with a lot of my stuff where I buy it from because I still want the customer to get it in good shape. Tommy and Tracy will be back after she finishes building her house. I thought she was going to buy an RV and live in her RV and travel the world. Well, maybe the country. Maybe not really the world. It's, it's hard to go across the... I don't know if there's any ferries that go across the ocean. Okay. 13 ounces. Oh, shoot. I need to um, remember to refund one of my mom's pension payments february 1st pension well, she got paid and i got to send them the money back isn't that nice so nice you get to send them the money so that's one thing that i learned all this knowledge you're getting watching my channel so with when it came to my mother passing on the 31st of january when you get um, the pension on February 1st, her pension was for that month. So it was for the month of February. And of course she was deceased. So I understand sending that back, but her social security payment, which I think she got paid on like the 8th or 15th or something like that. It wasn't the first. So she got that January 15th that covered the month of December. For the month of January, you have to be alive the whole month of January. So even though she passed on January 31st or was announced to pass, I think she probably passed on January 30th, but even though it was the 31st, you have to be alive to 11.59 p.m. on the 31st in order to get your Social Security check in February. But your Social Security check in February pays for January. It makes no sense to me. She incurred expenses for the month of January. Why should she not get her social security for the month of January? That just ticks me off. Honestly, I feel like if you're literally born one minute into that or born alive one minute into that month, you should get it. You can get the child tax credit. If you have a baby on December 31st at 11:58 PM, you can get the child tax credit for that whole year. All right, I sold this Harry Potter notebook. Bought it at Ollie's for $2.99. This sold for $20. That includes shipping. Hey, it's going to uh, Bowling Green, Kentucky. I think that's close to you, Holly. Um, I don't have... I really... You know what? I'm going to go get some of those small, small things. Those small bubble mailers. I got to go over near the stairs because I never brought the box close.
I'm coming. All right, they were over near the stairs. Got some more. Where should I put them? <laughs> that's the that's the problem right now. Where to put them? Where to put stuff? It's so, it's so disorganized. It's really bad. So, all right. So here we got Harry Potter. I'm just putting it in here. Bend it over. There. Bend it over. So that's interesting with their taxes and everything that it came up to $20 even with shipping, taxes, and all that. Interesting. Five ounces. Today is Thursday. I have to remind myself on a daily basis what day it is. What day of the week, what day of the month. And even though it's on my phone, I still, yeah, March 9th. It's already March 9th. Uh-oh, I just got a comment from Jen. How come you're not in, in my live right now, Jen? She's watching my video. Maybe that's why my numbers are so low right now. Because you all are um, watching my travel time chit-chat. And that was an hour long chit-chat. Ah, yes. So she, Jen made a comment about, um, I had in my video, I talked about giving my kids some of their money now, um, their inheritance. And so she's saying how that's why some, some people paraphrasing it, obviously that some people, uh, when they win the lottery becomes an issue, right? It can ruin some relationships. So that can be why it's tough when you come into money. And again, I keep, I feel really bad because I keep saying it's not life-changing money, you know, but honestly, like, let's say somebody got $20,000. It's not life-changing, but it's still a, a big sum of money, $20,000 that you just want to be smart. That's not what, what the amount is, but I just wanted to give you an example of what I'm talking about because it's, um, you know, it's enough for me to be like, all right, I want to think about it what I want to do. It's, it's a good problem to have. Not obviously because you want somebody to pass, but it's a good money. It's a good problem to have money and not, not really be sure what to do with it. I don't know. Hopefully it doesn't come. Hopefully when I say certain things like that about money, it doesn't come across in a way I don't mean it to come across. I need to check. I just got a message on Etsy and I don't know which Etsy account. And I just checked. Oh, here it is. Uh, would be great if I could receive this before March 21st as I want to give it to my granddaughter as she is being baptized. Um, I just shipped it today. and oh, So it's going out today. So yeah, you should have it by then. Yeah, it's headed out today it should be there by next week i'm not going to say when next week but it should be there first class it should be there by next week i had some stuff i sent out oh that um fedex box i had to drop off that was it a puzzle i had to go to walgreens and drop it off on monday they've already gotten it and already rated me and everything that was yesterday so I'm like, that's pretty good for FedEx ground. That something got there that quick. It was FedEx uh, Smart Post, actually. Because that has to change hands from FedEx to the post office to even deliver it. All right. So we've got nine items here on eBay to package up. Let's do this one next. So I sold... Oh, good. None available. It's the last one. I sold some Silly Putty, which... I used Silly Putty to get ungated on Amazon in Crayola because as you can see right there, Crayola, even though it's blurry, there you go. Crayola makes Silly Putty. So I've got, this is my last set of Silly Putty to go out the door. I probably should have grabbed more of these when I was over there, the bigger ones. Because um, 
What did I sell this for? $3.75 or two of them. Oh, it must be going international because they paid a total of $19. We are going to put it in a box if it's going international. Where are you going? Oh, you're going to Mexico. Victor from Mexico is going to get this. Okay, Victor. We've got this small UPS box. We're going to use this. And we need to get some tissue, not tissue, but bubble, add packing material. We'll do two squares, two squares. So interesting. This is going to, yeah, I was watching a drive. I was watching your driving video, not realizing you were live. I know. I'm like, Jen, you left a comment. I said, you're probably watching that. I almost didn't go live today because I made that go live at eight almost and then i was like you know i'm gonna go live anyhow some people will just have to watch my live later if they're watching my pre-recorded or go back and watch my pre-recorded if you didn't catch that that got posted um, you know it's really hard for me to create thumbnails or a title for my travel time chit chats because especially this one it's an hour long from tuesday it was me driving all the way from Plattsburgh here, which actually is two hours long. So I don't know if the video was two hours or not. Uh, anyway, I don't. Um, oh, this is eBay. I can use eBay tape. I'm not going on a Mexican box. So I never know what to put for a title because I have such a variety of topics I talk about. I don't talk about just one thing. I bounce around. And most of the time I bounce so quickly, I even forget what I'm talking about. <laughs> which is part of my video that i did yesterday i my husband so you guys have to watch my next travel time chit chat video which i will probably put up to go live uh maybe this weekend do you guys watch videos on the weekends I'm trying to think about when i want to put that up but it's got my husband in it with me and he did okay i said you know what i really wanted to do this with my mom and I never ended up doing videos with her when we were outsourcing. So I, oh, I had seven ounces. Look how smart I am. I, it was seven ounces. And uh, so I said, I want to get Tony on video more often. Um, maybe get him a little more comfortable. And you guys can get to see him a little bit more. Uh, it'll probably just be more vlog style. Not really always talking about reselling. But there'll be a little mixture of, of reselling in it from what I happen to be doing. Um. Yeah, so I'm going to be uploading that one. And he talks. He talks in that one. So that's good. Anissa, you didn't run me off. Anissa, good morning. All right, so Etsy, why are you not integrated? Why do I have to? I don't have to do it now because I already did my Etsy. But I got to remember to go back to Pirate Ship. In case those who don't know, you can integrate Pirate Ship with your platforms and all of your orders get right, put right in. So when you buy postage, it automatically is uploaded. So nine, seven, a little more than three. Nine, seven, three. I'm just going to put nine, seven, three. What, how, do, how much did I say this way? Seven? Six. Well, I always forget. I always forget. Six ounces. Uh, customs form. Silly putty. Do you think that customs will know what that is? Silly putty? Silly putty. I don't know. I only paid three dollars for it. Three seventy-five. Three seventy-five. <laughs> I'll make I'll make money on shipping. So in the long run, this is gonna work out good for me. What did I say? Six ounces? Yeah. Um, I don't think they collected tax. Let me double check. Oh man. This guy's got the weirdest. He paid $19 in shipping. Oh, no, $15.44 in shipping. I don't think he paid taxes. I don't think they collect that from Mexico. Mexico, let me see. Do you got any taxes? No. Cost me $1.96 in transaction fees. It's no taxes. I don't have to fill any of that stuff. Some people are like, oh, I don't want to ship international. You got to fill out a customs form. Like, big deal. Big 
deal. So he paid $15.44 for shipping, and it's going to cost me $11.99. And you know what? I'm not even going to add. I am not adding on insurance for a $3.75. Silly bunny. Print. 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 Oh, this one goes. They usually go to Smithtown, New York or New Jersey. This one's going to Elk Grove Village in Illinois. Interesting. I guess that's where the Mexican. I think this is my first time shipping something to Mexico. All right. Goodbye, Mexico. Off you go. Off you go. All right. What's next? What are we going to ship next? What are we going to ship next? Cindy. You're saying hi to Cindy. Who's Cindy in here? Who am I missing? Hold on. Who is Cindy? Oh, there's Cindy. Hi, Cindy. I'm like, I don't remember seeing Cindy come in. I just saw you, Cindy, way up above. Sorry, I missed you. Thank you, Anissa, for saying hi to Cindy so I could see that Cindy was here. Because I didn't even see Cindy. You know you hang out in the chat too much when you're literally saying hi and you like know everybody's names, right? I sold some more of these. So remember on Monday I sold a four pack of these and I, they were all in this red packaging. All I have left are what, the white packaging. So when I sold this yesterday, I said, oh my gosh, I don't think I have that. I'm almost positive. I only got white left in my, in the tote. So I went and I looked and oh, there it was. It's a good feeling when you think you sold something and have to have to cancel it on eBay and then you find it. So I end up having it. So I paid 50 cents for these at a garage sale. They are not, uh, I thought they were going to be a faster, better seller than they were. Uh, this one only went for $7.50. I was asking $15. So it is part of my 50% off promotion. It is only four ounces. It, you know, I mean, 50 cents into $7.50, it's not that bad. Obviously, we prefer higher um, average sale prices, ASPs. But the fact that if it was would have sold faster, I listed these last summer. Actually, yeah, so I bought these and I listed them when we were in our camper. So I was out camping. Because the background is the the um, the table in my in my RV. I think I was mentioning on one of my videos. I'm, I've been thinking about maybe bringing a little uh, photo box or something. Or maybe I can make one that's just collapsible from stuff from the Dollar Tree that I can keep in the RV. So when I buy stuff, I can do that instead of instead of what I've been doing. But stuff's still selling. I don't think people always care about what the background is. If you look at some sold on eBay, if you go into a category, let's say you just put the word shirt, and then you said sort by all the sold, click on sold, and you look. There are so many that are not on white backgrounds. There are some horrible, horrible pictures, and in the, in they're still selling. So I don't think some people just don't care. And they're cute. Look at this cat. Take time to pause and relax. It's a two-year planner. Bought a bunch of these. Too many of them. I've only sold a handful of them since like October. Just won't do those. Won't buy these again. They are not very profitable. Sold it for ten dollars. Yeah, not good. Not gonna. Not gonna do that again. You live and learn. Testing some new areas for products to flip. Picking up some wholesale stuff. That was not a good buy. A lot of not good buys lately. Making me making me question whether or not it's something I even want to keep doing. When you make a lot of bad buys, you're just like, do I really want to keep doing that? Do I really want to keep sourcing in certain areas if, if they're bad buys or the, the mechanism of sourcing? I'll put a little sticker on here. I really need to remember to print off some more cards. Um, okay. That's going to Georgia. Wait a minute. Did that say Georgia on it? Because 
Yeah, I still had like the print screen. Had the... I had still had the screen on. Made me question if I did something right. Uh, I sold these Paw Fit Pets sticker face. These are really cute. You can get these at um, Walmart. And they're like all of these. So it comes with all these different stickers. And then it comes with a bunch of blank pet faces. And then the kids can just make faces. And they're really cute. Um, I was selling a ton of these on eBay. Not eBay. Amazon. Um, and then the price just tanked like four years ago. And I still got a ton. Still got a bunch of these. So I was paying $3.97 at walmart and these were selling for like 18 bucks on amazon at the time uh i sold this for 7.94 and i paid 3.97 so not a not a very good flip it's been four years uh, it was probably on sale yeah 50 percent off it was part of my clearance event going to cost $4.74. Oh, exactly what they paid for shipping. So that's always good because I guess. Uh, I am dumping my Legos I bought in 2020 locally to just be rid of them. The police. Oh my gosh, I got some of those too. Yes, because there was this there was this rumor that they Lego wasn't going to be making police ones anymore and all this other stuff. Yeah, they. I think they're still selling them in the stores. I fell victim to that, Anissa. I've got some. I've sold some. Uh, they never ended up being valuable for Amazon. Actually, if you go to Amazon, I think mine are listed there FBM, but it's like a lot higher than everything else. Uh, all right, I sold a little tassel. So my mother-in-law gave me a bunch of purses that she didn't want, and she used to buy or still buys, I guess, the brand, the Saks. This was actually attached to a non-Saks purse that she gave me. So I took it off, listed this by itself. I have six more bricks. Uh, those are the, like, the plastic containers. Um, I think I got two, only two of those left. Uh, let's see. Let's use, let's use this green color. So, yeah, so... When in doubt, doubt parted out. Like if this, if you have a purse and it has this thing that says the sacks on it, then take it off and sell that separately than the purse. If the purse is not a sacks purse, if it came original to the purse, I'd leave it on the purse. Uh, so this sold for $16 and one cent. Not sure why the one cent. It's kind of weird. I must've sent um, an offer of like 10% off or maybe lately I've been doing like 12%. So it may have been an offer and they accepted the offer. Or maybe they sent me an offer. They may have sent me an offer because the total was $22 even. So they may have said, I'm willing to pay $22 for that and nothing more. Um, I'm tempted to put it in a box. It probably doesn't need a box though, but I didn't bubble it. I'm going to put it in a little four by four box. Just because of the value of it. And not that $16 is a lot, but still $16 for a little dangly thing that hangs on a purse. Sometimes I was watching a video. I can't remember who it was. And they were saying how um, just because you don't think there's value in something or you it's not your style or you don't like it. They're like, still look it up because it might be worth something. And even though I would never, I don't think this is going to fit. I think it's way too big. Oh, I need some more normal size air pillows. I need some air pillows. I'm going to have to use bubble. I don't think I have any normal size left. I'm going to have to use bubble wrap. I miss my mom giving me all her air pillows. I just don't want it to be like rattling around inside. So, uh, so yeah. So just because you see something and you don't think it's really worth whatever. Or you, you see something you think it has no value. 
there are people who think something has value and and think that it's worth whatever so it's it's really funny i mean how many times do we see something and we're like who would buy that i know there's times i sell things not that this is a bad thing but i've sold some things where i'm just like who bought that like who really would spend money on that <laughs> i wouldn't give you a penny for it and I, if it's a penny i would throw away i'd throw in a wishing well because i don't want whatever it is that it's junk I just look at it as junk. Some things. But it's crazy. People will buy things that other people would be like, I'm not buying that. That's junk. Okay. It's going to Texas. But yeah, I guess if you had a purse or like there's um is it called oh there's a there's a purse that has those uh starts with a K. That has these little stuffed animals that hang. I think they're, they might be monkeys, maybe, that hang from them. And I find the purses a lot, but most of the time the monkeys are, are not there. But those, if you found just the monkey, like there's people who would buy those just so they could attach it to their purse. Yeah, everything sells eventually. Absolutely. You just got to be careful of what you're asking for for the price. Sometimes, you know, prices prices are high. My 50% off is doing very well. I've been very happy with my stuff. Uh, I had a bunch of these. I picked these up at Walgreens for Christmas. Maybe 2021, because I didn't do any of this stuff last year. So maybe 2021, but it was $6.99. But Walgreens had a buy one, get one free sale. And I went and bought a bunch of toys and I bought only because they, they carry a lot of their brand toys at Walgreens or whatever that, like, I don't know if it's their brand, but they're like not really nationally known brands. Uh, but anything that would be like Marvel or Disney or something like that, that's recognizable by most people, um, I picked up. So I picked up, I think 10 of these, and this is the last one going out the door. Uh, this sold... For only $9.83, I sent out an offer to Likers. I was very generous because I am like, trying to move this stuff out. Get out of here. Had you for a couple years. Hoping they would have sold quickly. Hoping they would have sold during Christmas of 2021, and it didn't. Hoping it was going to sell during Christmas of 2022, and it didn't. So as long as I'm breaking even and this, so you figure $7 and 350 is what I paid because I bought two. So half one was buy one, get one free. So 350 and um, I sold for 968. So I'm going to at least break even. And that's where I'm at with most things at right now. I'm focusing on if I can break even and get it out of here. I'm okay with that. I just, if I can get my money back, that's good for me. If it's an older item, if it's a, something that's been sitting for a while. I wish Claudia would come in. I got a question for her about Amazon, about Etsy. Because I know she used to sell an Etsy. How much do you going to weigh? Oh, one, three. Uh, you might be better off going to, let me see. I'm going to go to, who's this going to? Lauren. Lauren. I think it might be you. New Jersey. Winnie the Pooh. Yeah. So one, actually one four, because we got to round up. And Jabox length. What do we got? Ten. 12, so 12, 10, 3, 12, 10, 3. I am on pirate ship because I think that the rates will be better. So last Thursday I went to the casino and I had told my husband and my mother-in-law, oh my gosh, UPS is only $7.66. That's cheap, huh? Oh, party mail is only $7.80. I am using a UPS box. Um, hmm. 
do I want to go into town today? And is it worth the little bit of savings? Estimated delivery. Oh, they both will deliver, be delivered by Saturday. I'm going to go party mail. I feel kind of guilty every time I use these boxes and, I, and it's not for priority. I mean, it's not UPS. Um, so yeah, I had said that, so I get a free room at the casino. I get four every month. And I said, I think I'm going to go every Thursday and I can go to bingo and then I can play the slots. And last week I had such a good time. Tony and I went and it was really good. I, I won that night and then I gave it all back, but it was really fun playing there. And just, I, I didn't go to bed till after midnight and I, I just really enjoyed myself. So I was thinking, oh, maybe I'll go again. But then I'm like, mm, no, because you did end up in the long run losing. And I just don't want to keep giving the casino that much money. And I got to get my taxes done. So I decided, no, nah, I'm not going to go to the casino. Probably not going to go this week. But I did win on, so I play online casinos at Lucky Land Slots in Chumba. It, every day you log in, they give you free money. Like Chuma gives you a dollar. Lucky Land, it depends on how many days in a row you've logged in. So I said, uh, so I was on Lucky Land and I had, I think I had like eight or nine dollars of free play still to use. So I'm like, I'm going to, because that one day I had a two dollars and I said, I'm going to play. What day was it? Not yesterday, the day before. So Tuesday. Yeah, Tuesday night. So I was playing Tuesday night. And I won. And I won. I don't know how much I won. So I'm just going to use arbitrary numbers because I just don't know. But I was I started with like $8. And I won something where I won like $30. So I kept playing. And next thing I know, I won $150. And then I kept playing. I got up to $1,500. And I started out with $8. And it was their money, their $8. So I told my husband, I got it back down. I was at $1,400 that night when I when I, when I uh, walked away and I said, all right, I'm going to play a little bit in the morning, but I'm going to, cause you have to go through this process when you cash out. And this is my first time cashing out. So I said, I'm going to play a little in the morning and then I'm going to cash out at a thousand. And so I played a little bit and I ended up cashing out $850. So not the thousand I thought I decided to leave $500 in because I just wanted uh, money to play. So I was at like 1300 when I cashed out. So that's on its way. It says it takes three to five days. So we'll see. We'll see when I get that. But yeah, that was good. That was really good. Um, I don't like to. I don't like to. Um, I don't want to just waste my money spending it at the casino. So but as long as I'm having fun, but I don't want to just spend it all. All right. I sold these happy planner discs. These are expander discs. They're big. So if you want to take two happy planners and move them into one. So like, for instance, I have a happy planner and I added extra papers in the back to make like a notebook with, within my planner. And the other day I bought some bookmarks at Hobby Lobby and I was putting some bookmarks in, but they were having a hard time going in. I really probably need to change to these bigger discs because now my planner is a little thicker than it should be that it was made to be with those original discs. Um, I'm going to put those in a box. I don't use these four by four by, <laughs> by fours very often. So I caught that. Um, and I'm using them twice today. So these are four by four by four. Uh, you cannot put those dimensions. Excuse me. My goodness. Uh, you cannot put those dimensions in on eBay. It tells you the box size is too small. So you have to put in six by four by four, which is weird because they sell, these aren't from them, but they sell eBay boxes that are four by four by four where you can use your coupon, which if you haven't used your coupon for the first quarter yet, you should use them. It's going to be expiring soon. Uh, it doesn't really need bubble, but I think I'll just wrap it in this tissue instead of bubble. Just because I don't want it to be cling, cling, clanging all over. This Actually, let me make sure I don't have the price on it. I don't know if I took it off all of them. There's no price. I should have went to Michael's the other day. 
I didn't even think of that when I was there in Plattsburgh. Because I was in and out of Hobby Lobby so fast because they didn't have what I was there for. Which is what I got to package next. Oh, you know what? Are these going to... Oh, yeah. It'll fit. I was thinking I was going to have to put in a 644. It's a little snug. I have to put it diagonal. All right. So these I paid $2.54. Speaking of Michaels, I bought them at Michaels. I bought these at Michaels for $2.54 and they sold for $15. Plus shipping. I'm one of the Facebook groups I'm in. Somebody was saying how they've been getting uh, a lot of their items when they go to ship them have been free shipping. And people were telling them how to check their listings to see if it's free shipping or not. If you're in Seller Hub and you put in your active listings, one of the columns is shipping. And you can just go down and see if it says calculated. If, it, if it's free, it'll say free. That's easy enough to do. Now, see how easy I forget how much things weigh. I got a grocery shop. And what I need to do is go in my pantry and see what I have and what, what can I make with it. And pick up stuff that will that I might need to complete whatever it is I want to. Because I need, my pantry is like overflowing with stuff right now. And I've been taking some stuff from my ma's house and bringing it here because she had a huge amount of stuff in her pantry. She had been hoarding her food. She bought into every all those shortages she kept hearing about all during 2020, 2021. She was like hanging on to everything. So she's got a ton of food and I've been hanging on to some of her food so I can, uh, or bringing it to my house so I can use it. Like I made... um. I made chili with some tomatoes and, and beans that were hers. And, oh, I bought, I grabbed some boxes of macaroni. So I made a macaroni salad one time, and then I made macaroni and cheese another time. All right, so these two things. This is what I went all the way to Hobby Lobby for on Tuesday. Stay. So these are made by it's called the works it's made by a company called we are memory keepers uh the original price on this was 49.99 they were on clearance for 27 27 49 look for those orange stickers hold on <laughs> this way uh, look for the orange stickers at hobby lobby so i picked up three of them I, i'm keeping one the other two i listed they sold overnight both of them for $55 and then one sold on Etsy because I listed this on Etsy also and I had to cancel Etsy because Etsy's penalties aren't as strict as eBay's but the one on Etsy they were paying $47 for me to priority express it to them so um, I looked at the dollar amount and I'm like oh my gosh they pay like a hundred something dollars for this with their taxes and shipping and everything. I'm like, oh, I got to cancel that one. But I did. I canceled that one. Shipping these two. Um, this one is this one is $72.03 total. And the other one was $67. So obviously this one must live close. Let's do the one that lives close first. I'm hoping they fit in the larger priority boxes. But I might have to Franken box. Uh, so by the way, these sell for... Let me see how much. They, I was going to send them into Amazon. And then I was like, eh, I think I'll just list them on eBay. Let me see. I'm going to scan it with my Amazon app. So, oh yeah. So on Amazon, they go for 67. Oh, you're blurry. You're always blurry. Let me get closer so you I'm not in the picture. No, not working, not working. You have to take my word for it. <laughs> so they sell for $67. Oh my gosh, this one says $84. So with shipping, so that one was $67 plus you had to pay shipping. So it was an FBM seller. Uh, they're selling for $84. After fees, $65 on Amazon. I should have listed it on Amazon. Uh, although $65. And then I would have had to pay shipping. So in the long run, I probably would have netted out to the same. 
uh, and Amazon buyers are pains in the ass. So yeah, so 65 and then I would have had to pay shipping. We'll see what shipping's at. This one, this one's going to Pennsylvania and they only paid 780 for shipping. I probably messed up on how much I said it was weighing. Probably weighs more than what I said, especially if I have to Frankenbox. Ooh, you're not going to fit. Yeah, I got to Frankenbox it. So, yeah. So in the long run, I think it probably would come out around the same with eBay's lower price plus shipping. Now, I could have done the higher price and then said shipping on Amazon, but Amazon fees are a lot higher. I don't know. What would you guys have done? If you saw something selling for $84 on Amazon and $55 on eBay, you pay $27, what would you do? Okay, so I definitely need to top it. So we need to Franken box because I need to top. I don't want scissors. I want a razor blade. I need to top it. Y'all are saying, what's top it mean? I'm just going to cut this box in half because I got two of these to ship. I don't want to. I don't want to put the razor blade towards my body parts. Oh my God. See, because it slips. Oh my God, I almost hit my fingers. Oh my God, camera! What kind of cutting is that? It's not very good. Not very good cutting. It's because I got this box on my lap. I should have moved it. Now I got two halves. Two halves. Amazon fees are high. Yeah, I think that's why. And I'm just like, I just feel like an eBay buyer, even though eBay has its own share of scams and problems and stuff like that, I just feel like an eBay buyer is better. I don't, I just, yeah, I feel like I'd prefer eBay buyers over Amazon. There's just more Amazon buyers. But these both sold overnight. And I would have, oh, so I could have done FBM, you know, but FBA 84, I would have to mail them in. All right, so I made another little box, cut it in half, putting it over the top of this. Let me make sure I took off all the pricing. Because Hobby Lobby likes to put multiple pricing stickers. Their clearance, they put them on the front and the back. Come on. There you go. There you go. Come on. You want to go on. You know you want to go on. Come on. Yeah. Get a little arm workout today. Bring a box together. The side ripped. So I'm going to tape that down. And then tape the side ripped. Yeah, because when you're putting a box that's a certain size over a box that's the same size, that happens. And then I got to tape these two together. Now, I probably could have used, I wonder if I could have used a, a B box. I don't think a B box is this size. The regional bees because they don't have the regionals anymore. I could have used a game box and just cut the game box down instead of taping two together. The game boxes are the large flat rates, but once you alter the size of the box, it's no longer considered flat rate. These are what I had here, so it's just a little easier. Uh, eBay buyers are better in terms of not returning so much stuff as Amazon. Yes, I would agree with that. Even though I have returns, but I have it so buyers have to pay for the returns. Where Amazon, everything is free returns. Just had a weird transaction on eBay. Somebody got like a refund of like 35 cents or something. I'm not really sure what that was about. They used to be when Amazon first started, Amazon Prime. You would kind of have this price guarantee that if you saw something go cheaper in the like in the next 30 days or something, they would match that price. I don't know. Does anybody know if they still have that? Because I'm wondering if maybe that's what happened. 
But why should I have to pay if I was willing? I would have just let that person have the buy box and kept my price. Okay, let's see how much this weighs. I think this is going to be in the way. Three pounds. Oh my goodness. I am off on my shipping. Three pounds, three ounces. I'm probably going to be like, yeah, I should have gotten UPS now that it's that I was off by over a pound. I guessed when I listed it. I was wrong. I was wrong. Where is my... I got to measure the box. What is the size of the box now? It is 18 inches. I don't know what the, there's a certain inch that once you hit it, it's not a good thing. Oh, it's only 818 and they paid 780. <coughs> All right, so that's not too bad. So in this case, it would have cost me eight eighteen to ship it, with selling it at that eighty four dollar rate on Amazon. No wonder people are buying it so quickly on Facebook, on eBay. I should have went higher. So I ran all the way out to that other one, hoping to find some more of these, and they didn't have any. I definitely should have gone higher on this price. I think I left some money on the table, probably at least ten bucks. But you know what? My brother reminded me the other day because his son was selling something on Facebook Marketplace. And he's like, Dad, I really feel like I should ask this or whatever. I can't remember what it was. Golf clubs or something. Something hunting maybe. And he sold it fast. And then his dad said, he said something and he go, and his dad was like, do you remember when you get, when you've gotten a really good deal on something, how good that felt? Like be that person that gives somebody that good feeling that they got a good deal. So somebody today or yesterday bought this and said, oh my gosh, what a good deal. I can't believe I just got that. And they're very happy. Hopefully it's not a flipper. Hopefully it's a crafter. Not that I care what you do with my stuff. If you buy it from me, everybody come buy for me. <laughs> but the fact that um, you just, you want somebody who's going to get a good deal on something. if like they're going to really use it. All right, so as we know, this next one, I got to do, I'm going to do the same thing. So I already went ahead and made my topper for the box. I need to get a box. Actually, before I do that, I need to uh, remove the price tags on these. So do you guys watch YouTube on the weekends? Because I want to put out that video. But I don't know if I want, when I should put out my other video I have. I think it's only like a half hour long. But I, I don't want to take time and energy making a video, then people don't watch it. It's kind of like, why do I even bother? Although I will say it is kind of historical. And I do hope that at some point if I was to pass, like I wish I had those videos up with my mother. And I doing doing what we did because that would be, I would just love to sit and watch some of those at some point. Not right now because that stuff still makes me cry. Looking at videos, photos, all that makes me cry. But my sister, uh, she's been going through a box and putting up a lot of pictures on Facebook. And she's been she was texting us and then she posted some on Facebook. And um, it's nice still looking at them even though I I get teary eyed. But at some point, like with my dad, I got to a point after five years of his death where I wasn't crying all the time. Like I could look at a picture, I could hear a song, and it didn't always make me cry. Sometimes it still would, depending on where I was. If I was in the car, most likely. But um, but right now, I can be anywhere and I'll start to cry over some, certain things um, with my mom. So I just look forward to... Not crying. I keep telling family and friends that I just want to fast forward the next four or five years. That way I don't have to uh, go through the grieving process. You can just skip. It, you'll still be grieving, but as anybody knows, if you've ever lost anybody close to you, um, and people will tell you it gets better, and it does get better. Uh, you don't all, you don't ever stop missing them or loving them. 
but the hurt gets better and then you can focus on the memories more. Okay, so here's this. No one on the back. With top on. You are going to break free right there, aren't you? Oh, no. It's not ripping. This is what happens. Instead of ripping, this will go in. Otherwise, if this rips, then this will stay out. Now i got to deal with this sticking out. Because it's harder to tape when it's stuck out like that. And I've been getting a lot of friend requests from people who do YouTube. And their the friend request is their YouTube channel. And I'll, But I go and look and all they do is post stuff about their channel. SLC Flips. I, I um, accepted him know, like a month ago. All of his posts are just shorts and reels. And it's just stuff that I'm like, mm. I want I want to be friends with people on Facebook that are like posting real about their real life family stuff. Like I want to get to know you as a real person. Not just your business. All right. So see how like this is like doesn't even stick to it. I hate that. I hate when that does that. I am listing right now. Get listing and get selling. If it's not listed, it won't sell. You know, I got like 1,700 things on Amazon, on eBay right now. And somebody was saying something about, oh, it's not about how many listings you have. It's a quality that, you know, that kind of stuff. And it's, it's true. But then I was reminding myself the other day, because I haven't been working my business as much as I should be in the last year. And I'm like, man, think of the hours you put in, though, to get 1,700 items listed. I am a one-person show. I don't have anybody else listing. Um, the only help I ever get is Tony will bring stuff to the post office for me. And he'll bring stuff from downstairs, from upstairs to down here for me. Like, that's it. He doesn't source with me. He doesn't, um, he doesn't do any listing, photographing, like, none of that stuff. And I was watching this video the other day. I think it was an Amazon seller, and they were talking about her sales. I think she sells clothing, and she has 400 employees. And I'm like, holy smokes, 400, or no, I'm sorry, 200 employees. But I'm like, but still, 200 employees. That's a lot. That is a lot of employees. I don't want to manage anyone. I don't even want to manage myself. <laughs> that one kind of wrinkled. So when I did my travel time chit chats this week, I found them kind of comforting talking to you guys on a video. Um, and just even going live again. Like, I don't know. It's just... I'm hoping I can do that type of stuff more. I'm thinking about um, maybe even just doing some videos that are like vlog style. I'm, I, I know I've talked about changing my channel name. I'm really seriously thinking about that. Uh, I just got to figure out what I want to change it to. I was thinking about saying something e -com, But then I'm like, well, because I don't really just do flipping or picking. I don't do just arbitrage. Uh, I like I do just such a variety. And if I wanted to talk about my KDP and those printable on-demand books or the um, T-shirts or anything like that, I kind of would like everything just to kind of encompass all of it. So I was thinking about that. But then I'm like, wow, my whole talk with Tony yesterday going to breakfast and back, what, we didn't really even talk about any reselling. We talked about his maple syrup. Um, I don't remember what we talked about, but it's not all about, so it's kind of like my life. So I'm thinking about maybe doing something like that. Um, what did this weigh? Three pounds something, right? Three something. This one's going further. Three pounds, three ounces. Let's see if I'm going to lose money on this one. Lose as much, I should say, because the other one, I, I'm definitely losing money. Um, I'm way behind. 
way behind on your messages, folks. I watch YouTube all the time. When family is home, I have to wear earbuds all day. Yeah, that's one thing that's nice about uh, I don't have any kids at home anymore. And Tony usually hangs out in the bedroom. He watches TV in there. He actually lays on the on, on the bed and watches his, um, he watches reels, Facebook reels, like a lot of Facebook reels. He hasn't gone to TikTok yet, which I'm surprised. I keep telling him to, but he hasn't. Um, so wherever I'm watching, I play it right out loud because I don't have to wear earbuds. Except for when I'm in the RV. He likes it quiet when he's driving. And I like music or something. So I've been, uh, last summer, I just put earbuds in. Uh, so he gets to listen to me sing out loud. <laughs> How do you list much in this? I have to limit YouTube. I'm listing right now. I'm kind of bored in, with it on too much. Yeah. I, I'm i really like, I seem to go in waves. I like to listen to YouTube when I'm in the car. That's why, like my travel time to chat, if I could listen to more of that type of stuff. Um, channels I used to listen to, I don't listen to anymore. Some channels. Uh, I watched today. It's political, but I watched Timcast IRL. If you guys don't follow that, um, they were talking about January 6th and then transgenders. They were talking about those. Uh, and I listened to that this morning and I was like, that is hit. That was his best show ever. That to me, best show ever. I feel like the things they really talked about, I agreed with 90% of it. And most of the time I'll listen to a lot of those political shows and and I also like to listen to opposing views and I'll be like, hell no, hell no. <laughs> like I'll sit there and be like, no way. Uh, but then with him, though, a lot of times in, in the guests he had on, um, I was just like, great point. Oh, my gosh, that's a great point. And the guest he had on was arrested for for um, being one of the people that went into the Capitol. Now, I don't think he ended up going into the Capitol on January 6th. I think he was outdoors. If I remember correctly, but he still got arrested. He still got arrested and did time in jail, and then he had house arrest. But whatever. So he was he was on there, and he was talking about a video that he was pretty sure um, a social media person. I, I don't remember who they even said. I don't follow that person, but that this person had said something, and he's like, "No, he said it." He kept telling the the host Tim, that, "No, he said it," and the guy's like, "He didn't say that." He's like, yes, he did. So he played him the clip uh, showing what he really had said. And he's like, oh, I know I for sure I saw a video of him saying that. And so they had this whole conversation about how even videos you watch on TV or on, on, on um, the Internet, how they can look real to you, sound real, think you really heard that person say that thing. And it's a completely they called it the deep fake. And how some of these videos are really not really what they are. And this guy was just like, I cannot believe I fell for it. Like, I had all these, like, talking points for coming into today based upon me seeing him say that. And now you're telling me he didn't even really say that? It was real. It was just really good. It, it just really brought up that whole thing about how we see things. And, you know, we just think it's real. And then even if you find out it's not real, it's still in the back of your head that you heard it and you thought it was real, that it makes you question that person still, even if they didn't do that thing. That makes sense. All right. I need to get my dang taxes done, says Anissa. Yes. I got that's top of my priority once I've done this. Chad won't even take stuff to the post office. He hates all things reselling. Yeah. Except the money, right? They all like the money. Oh, thank you, Chicken Toad. You just watched my travel time chit chat. Um, so I didn't edit any. I didn't even watch it because um, I lived it, right? <laughs> so all I did was put the videos together and uploaded it. So hopefully there was nothing overly embarrassing besides my double chin when I was walking out of the garage to the sugar shack at the end. I was like, oh, no, that's a bad angle you were holding your camera. But then I was like, who cares? You guys see it. It's here. Whatever. Um, other than that, yeah, hopefully there was nothing inside it, right? Because sometimes I'll like cough or my nose will itch. And then I'm like, all right, you got to edit that out. And then you got to remember to edit that out. And yeah. So I hate editing. <laughs> uh, yes. 
Uh, the reason I work for myself is because I don't want to deal with people. Yeah, me too. Me too. Uh, the yucky reselling money just bought a huge refrigerator size gun safe. Oh, nice. Yes. I was looking. Where was I? They had gun safes. And I thought, well, I should get my husband one of those. I don't know. It's funny because this, this inheritance money is burning a hole in my pocket. Like I want to I want to spend it, but then I don't want to spend it. Like I got like these two little angels on my shoulders where an angel and a devil, um, but neither of them are really right or wrong. Neither, neither of them are really an angel or a devil, but I'm this part of me is like, I just want to spend it. And then the other part of me is like, no, don't spend it. I feel guilty spending it. I'm going through, I'm going through a lot of guilt about it at all. Even like spending $10 of it. It's like, really, um, it's been a struggle, which if you watch my travel time to chat, I think I talk about that. Um, I love Tim Cass. Yes. I love Salty Cracker. I haven't watched that. Brand Brandon. Was that who was on it or is that who Salty Cracker is? That was on the show. I don't remember the guy's name, but yeah, that was, that was just a really good show. I really enjoyed that. I like listening to things like that. I've also been trying to listen to like motivational things, professional development. Uh, I feel like I'm kind of running into some roadblocks though, of what to listen to for that. So I got to figure out that uh, 2000 for the gun safe. Yeah. They're not, they're not cheap. Um, so when we were going to build our log home and we ended up with this house instead, one of the things that we had priced out, like when we were getting pricing from contractors for building this house was in the basement was the poured foundation was going to have um, a three wall found um, room that was going to be cement. And then we were going to get one of those like bank safe doors. Um, so, cause Tony wanted to just be able to, cause it, we live in New York and there's just so many rules and laws here in New York that are different than other parts of the country. Definitely different than Vermont where we came from. So he's like, I want to be able to, you know, lock up this and lock up that. So we ended up not doing that, but we definitely have a system and um, a security and stuff here in, in our house for what we have. So. Um, yeah, he got her. Okay. That was him, Brandon on Tim Cass. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, he got arrested. He was just talking about how they were like coerced into pleading guilty for something. They're like, well, he got, he ended up with a felony and he didn't even go into the Capitol where there's some people that went into the Capitol that ended up getting misdemeanors. Um, it was all the, the whole talk of the video started talking about, um, Tucker Carlson came out showing because one of the things that I really liked um, was the videos from September or September 6. Yes. January 6 got released when the Republicans took back over the house. They said, okay, let's release all the videos, right? Cause they were having all these hearings, the Democrats and that one Republican, whatever her name was, I can't remember, but yeah, whatever. <laughs> That's how much she meant to me. Um, they were showing all these videos and I remember watching some of those hearings that were on at 8 PM at night and being like, wow, we never got to see these videos. Like, yeah, that kind of changes some things, right? Look at that. Look what they were doing, but they didn't show all these other videos where depending on what door you went in, some of them, the, the police, the Capitol police were opening the door for them and was pointing to them where to go. And, um, was giving them direction. Like it was just like a completely different scenario depending on where you were within the Capitol. And, but it didn't matter. Even if a Capitol police was like, come on in, you know, waving you in and you went in, they were looking at all the videos and they were arresting all these, everyone got arrested and got charged with whatever. Uh, some people are still sitting in jail and they were let in by the police. The police were telling them to come on in. So how can you be trespassing when literally they're, they were telling you to come on in? I feel bad. I feel bad for them. Um, here's something weird. Oh, I was staying at an Airbnb in Short Pump, Virginia over the last few days. And my phone was picking up a neighboring Wi-Fi signal named Tony and Tamara. It reminded me of Tamara. Oh my gosh. How funny. That is funny. 
watch 200 mules what is that what is it is it on um, youtube is it on like netflix what is it because i'll add it Put it over here let me open up my youtube over here so i can see when you reply so i don't know what that is 225 minutes 600 hours <laughs> Just making up numbers. What is that? was that from Rent? <laughs> so obviously that's not from Rent, but the tune is from Rent. <laughs> oh, 2,000 mules. 2,000 mules. 2,000 mules. Amazon, Roku. It's on Roku. 2,000 mules. Okay, I put it on my phone thing here. So I'll add it to my list of stuff to watch. I'll watch it while I'm, um, I got to finish my taxes. So I, I got to watch something on there. Um, I think I'm all done packing. Let me check. Let me check eBay. I think that was it. I got new feedback. I wonder if it's any good. Refresh my screen. Whoa. I didn't ever printed the label for this one. Why didn't y'all tell me that? I refreshed my screen and it's still sitting there. Um... Lauren, okay, I think this was the other package. So I got a label on my screen. No, that was Blake. Well, wait a minute. You were both in New Jersey? No, you were Pennsylvania. How come the one in New Jersey had to pay so much more in shipping? Wait a minute. This is one pound, four ounces. That's a different package. That was Winnie the Pooh. Winnie the Pooh. Debbie, where do you live, Debbie? See how I get so distracted. I forget. It's about the 2020 election. Okay. I might be on Rumble. All right. I'll, I'll definitely check that out. It, said, it showed me that it was on, um, what did I say it was on? It showed me it was on something that I, that I have. Was it Roku? I said it was on something. Um, now I don't remember. It was three pounds something. Three pounds, three ounces. Three, three. I messed up that so bad. Like I've put in two pounds. I never realized this was that heavy. I almost sold the one that I was keeping for myself yesterday after I got that order. And that was, oh yeah, 1815, if I remember right. No, 18, 12, 3. 18, 12, 3. 18, 12, 3. Oh, let's see how much shipping is. They were out there collecting sap today. It's not very warm out for sap to be flowing. Ooh, all right. UPS ground is 12.52. Ah. Priority mail is $16. How much did they pay? Oh, where is it going? Let me see. It's going to Arkansas. Arkansas. Let's see what they paid for shipping. Oh, they only paid $9. What? Wait a minute. Wow. Transaction fees on this were $9.20. Isn't that crazy? I paid eBay almost $10 total for this. By the way, I stopped all promoted listings about a week ago. Uh, I am not one that has not ever, since they've came out with it, really done pro promoted listings. I've, I mean, I've always had it on, whether it's been just at a 2% or 3% or trending, trending plus. Like, I've always had something. I turned them all off. I'm still getting sales. Um, so they only paid $9.94. I think I'm going to go with UPS. And that's at $12. And it gives me something to do while I talk to you guys a little bit more. Because I'm going to wrap these priority mailboxes... 
in these black poly bags. <laughs> That's what I'm going to do. And I'm going to use a priority mail box for UPS shipping, which is not against or not with the rules of the post office. Every now and then I break a rule. Not very often. Oh, uh, by the way, good morning, fishing and picking. Fishing and picking. Um, fishing and picking. What is your, I don't know why I always forget your name. I forget your name all the time. But do you have a John boat? Or have, do you know anybody who uses those plastic John boats? They're called anglers, I think. Uh, so we were just looking at them the other day, Tony and I, which actually I think that's the videos we were looking at when Roman was live and I was watching Roman and he was watching some reviews on those angler boats. Uh, we're, yeah, kind of looking at those because Tony did a lot of fishing last year. Uh, he, we don't have a boat. We used to, but we don't anymore. So he was doing everything from the shoreline and so many people were telling him that, you know, if you want to get the catfish, if you want to get the um, walleye, is that what it was maybe? I know we have bass. I'm trying to think of what he was, what he was, I was going to say hunting for. Yes. Whatever he was going for in the spring, uh, they were like, you really just need a boat to get out to right there. Um, you know, in the, in the water. So I was like, why don't we get you? He's like, I just want a John boat. So I was looking for a John boat locally on Facebook and they had these, somebody was selling one of their John boats that were these rubber, um, plastic ones. It was an angler field and stream. They sell them at Dick's and around here. I think Dick's was the, the only place that locally sold them locally as in two hours away. But so we're like, yeah, I wonder if uh, that would be a good, good idea getting one of those. And then he could just lift it and put it onto his trailer. And he did because they had a nice fishing boat for sale. And I'm like, what about this? And he's like, I don't want to have to have anything where I have to back the trailer into the water. Um, I like the idea that I can just lift this up right off from my trailer and put it in the water myself. He goes, because you're not going to back anything up. He started blaming it on me. I'm like, no, I'm not even going to go fishing with you. So, no. I'm not going to do that. Don't make it about me. So, how many of you do this? You're like, okay, yeah, I can go UPS, but I but I don't have a... Um, I would have to unbox this and put it in another box. So, I'm just going to wrap it. I think this person's going to mind think they're going to be like, oh, they wrapped a UPS or USPS box and sent it via the post office. Oh, my gosh. I'm breaking all the rules. At least I'm not sending it media mail on top of it. Right? I mean, come on. There's people who would do that, who would then be like, oh, that's a box of books. So I'm going to do this and go media mail. I'm not doing that. Tape, tape, tape. Tape in the box. It does use four. I think this is kind of like what Scott was talking about the other day. He's like, if you're going to use UPS, but it's going to cost you more money to save some money, as in like now I have to use a different box or now I'm using three poly mailers, which these are not cheap. Then in the time, but I'm just here talking with you guys anyhow. So that doesn't really, really make a difference, the time. But now I got to go to UPS. Which I think I'm gonna go out, go out and do something anyhow today. I don't know what. Even though it's dreary, maybe I'll go grab lunch. I've been craving a Subway BLT. Like I've been really wanting Subway. I might go get Subway today. 
was thinking about food earlier. That's why I was like, oh, I got a grocery shop. Well, I got to do a grocery pickup. I haven't gone into an actual grocery store and grocery shops in, well, since 2019. Before COVID, I was already doing grocery pickup before COVID. Um, Ashley Babbitt. Mother still sits outside the jail every night in D.C. for the ones arrested. You can watch a channel on YouTube called 1791 Stormtrooper every night. Uh, bravo to that person. Uh, I've got two small bass trackers for creeks. Bass Tracker 10W is a great one-man bow and easy to load in the back of a truck, but they don't make them anymore. You can install wheels on them. Oh, all right. We'll have to keep an eye out for those. If they don't make them anymore, then... That means I gotta find a used one. But that would be, I know last year we were looking. I think he said somebody he knows has a John Bow. Oh, that's right. His friend Shane is coming over, who owns a barbecue business. Um is coming over today. So that's good. I get to see him. So he uh it's 11 30. Wow. Because I think he said he was coming over at 10. But anyway, he said that he's got a John boat. It's just buried in the snow right now. So Tony was like, oh, I should probably just wait and see what that John boat looks like and then decide at that point. Like, that's not a bad idea. Why spend money if you don't have to? If you can get something for free and it works for what you need it for and it's what he originally wanted. Don't need to get a brand new one. The one I saw on Facebook, though, the person had put a motor on it, a trolling motor. And they had upgraded the seats to like a swivel seat and they were padded. All right, so this I need to, I think I'll cut this in half. So I'm going to only have to use three of these. Now, had I had some black garbage bags, I could have just used a garbage bag. Just a heavy duty black garbage bag. But I don't have any. I have a uh, see-through blue garbage bags down here. That would not have worked. So I'm going to use, it's too bad you're not, no, you're still going to show. Yeah, I got to, I got to use both, both ends of this. Oh, now I got that song from Rent in my head. Even though I don't even know the words for it, but the tune, I got the tune in my head. I went to the fire department yesterday. They had they had um, a meal, chicken and biscuits, and it came up on Facebook. And they were kind of like reminding people that, oh, today's our chicken and biscuits. And I said to Tony, I'm like, hey, let's get that chicken and biscuits for supper tonight. So I ran over there at 5 o'clock, and they were, I was their last customer because they were sold out. I'm like, I want two meals. And they said, we only have got one meal left. So they gave me one meal and then they did another plate I paid half price for that had biscuits, just no chicken. So I had biscuits and they still put gravy on it and it had carrots and mashed potatoes and the brownie. I said to Tony, can you be part of the ladies auxiliary without your husband being on the fire department? Because I've been looking for a group that I can join so I can start making some local friends. And I thought, they were very nice people there. I want to be friends with them. And it was nice because it was all ages. There were some older people and there were younger people. The older people were in the back doing the cooking. And the younger people were in the front selling the tickets and collecting your money. And then they were selling lottery tickets. So I hope I, I hope I win that. They had 100 lottery tickets for sale. So I did buy 10 of those tickets. <laughs> how much? I should have timed how long it takes me to do this. And is it really worth saving $2? <laughs> and now i got to go into town. So this will be my excuse to go into town and get Subway. It's like, oh, I got to go that way now, anyhow. The subway's right there next to the UPS store. And this screams, you bought this on eBay. 
Um, I would stick with aluminum boats. Mine are flat bottoms. Yeah, that's what that's. I guess that's the John boat is a aluminum flat bottom boat that he originally wanted. The plastic, but the thing with the plastic is they're really lightweight. Um, they're like heavy duty plastic, but they're lightweight. I don't know. It's up to him. Whatever he ends up wanting. I've never seen one of those other ones. Never don't know anybody who owns one. I don't know how long they've been around. So before he bought one of those, I'd like to kind of, there wasn't even very many reviews on YouTube for them. Okay. Here we go. Now I'm going to print my $12.52 label. Still, they only paid 10 bucks, so still costing me $2.50, and they got a really good deal on this. I hope they're really happy with the item they get, because it's a good deal. Honestly, wrapping it all up also reinforced that I was uh, Frankenboxing, right? Because there's two boxes put together. Oh, here's a piece I missed. A piece of black I missed. I don't want to have it come undone. Print. Make sure I got it all. Oh, that's just the crease. I think that's it. I think I got it all. Here's your label. Thank you, Debbie, for buying this from me. I think you're going to be really happy when you get this. I haven't opened mine yet, but I'm excited to. Open mine and use mine. Let me just see. Import. I'm going to make sure that I don't have anything outstanding, which I don't, on, shop, on pirate ship. All right. That's it. Two hours. It took me two hours to ship today. That's a lot. That's a lot of time. All right. If you haven't, go to my channel. Go watch my travel time chit chat or listen to it. You don't even have to watch it. Because pretty much everything is just me driving. And so unless you want to just sit there and stare at me driving. At the very end, uh, I do when I get home, uh, Tony meets me. And I do bring you to go look at the maple sugaring that he's doing right now. So even if you only care about that part, you can just fast forward to the last minute of the video and you can see that. Uh, other than that. Hope you guys are having a great week. Hope you have a great weekend. I will be dropping another travel time chit chat video. I think I'm I'm gonna keep keep calling them travel time chit chat, but I'm gonna start putting hashtag vlog because they're kind of like vloggy, I guess, and um, and put those on the channel. So, all right, thank you guys for joining me. Talk to you guys later. Give me a thumbs up as you leave to go watch my travel time. All right, bye.